Today I'd like to talk about dealing with type 2 diabetes. There are a lot of people who look online and try to find what they can find out about diabetes and often they're getting misinformation. They're really not getting the science-based facts that they're looking for. So today I'm going to say the myth and then give you the real facts. So the first myth is if you're overweight you will develop type 2 diabetes. The fact is that being overweight is a common risk factor for diabetes, but other factors such as genetics and family history can contribute to your likeliness of developing diabetes. Achieving and maintaining a healthy weight is the most important action you can take to prevent type 2 diabetes. The second myth is that fruit is a healthy food. I can eat as much fruit as I want. Well, that's really not a fact. Fruit is an excellent source of vitamins, minerals, and fiber. However, it is a carbohydrate, which has the potential to spike your blood sugar levels. Fruits can be a healthy addition to the diabetic meal plan, but should always be combined with a protein or a healthy fat to prevent that elevated blood sugar spike. The next myth is if you have diabetes, you can't eat white or starchy foods like potatoes, rice, pasta, and bread. These foods can be included in your meals and snacks as long as you're aware of managing your portion sizes. You want to always be mindful to add a protein or a healthy fat to that. For example, with rice, your serving size of the cooked amount of rice is about a third of a cup. With potatoes, it would be about a half cup of potatoes. So you can see it's just a little bit, and you're going to have a good amount of protein and healthy fat with that. You want to limit your mealtime starch to no more than your clenched fist. The, ne the next myth is that diabetes is curable. There is not yet a cure for diabetes, but there are many lifestyle choices to help normalize your blood sugars and possibly even allow your physician to decrease or eliminate your diabetes medications. If we can get you to lose 5 to 10 percent of your body weight, along with making healthy food choices and exercise, we can work wonders to keep your blood sugars within normal range. The next myth is drinking alcohol has no effect on my blood sugars. Well, that's not true. When a person drinks excessively, blood sugar levels are actually lower because the liver is working to eliminate the alcohol from the body and not allowing glucose to be metabolized. While it is a good idea to avoid alcohol, if you do have an occasional drink, make sure to have it with a meal or right after eating so that the protein and fat can help you slow the metabolism of the alcohol. The next myth is that diabetes is not a big deal. I'm on medication and I manage it. Well, diabetes can often be effectively managed by taking prescribed medication, but they often have unwanted side effects. And many people don't want to be on medication unless they absolutely have to. Practicing a healthy lifestyle is always the best approach. Then if medications are needed, they will be effective in smaller doses. Left uncontrolled, Type 2 diabetes is the seventh largest leading cause of death in the United States. With so many questions about this very serious disease, we all need to be aware of the science-based truth to effectively control type 2 diabetes. I hope that you will share this video and this newsletter with someone you think could really benefit from separating fact from fiction when dealing with diabetes.